Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to learn what is a function, why do we need a function, and how to define a function in MATLAB with examples. So first, what is a function? So a function is a group of statements that performs a task, meaning we can have some inputs and it will execute some sets of instructions and give us an output. So let's assume that our function f of x is equals to x squared. So this is an example of where um, a function is defined with an input of x and the output will contain the uh, variable x squared. So if we input um, x as the value, let's say 2, then the output would be 4. If we input 5 as a, as a value of x, then the output will be 25. So if we look at another example, so here f of x is x cubed plus 1. This is another function of x. So as before, if we have x equals to 2, this calculates to uh, the function vari variable being calculated at uh, to 9. And if it's 5, uh, then the function will give us 126. So that is how a function works, meaning we will give it some inputs and some instructions. It will give us some outputs. Okay, so... Now that we see here, this is just for a single input. We can have multiple inputs in a function too. Let's see a two, two input function example. So here we have x and y both as an input for this function and the function will evaluate x cubed plus y squared. So this is an example. We can have other forms of uh, x and y variables and functions. So if we have, let's say, the value of x equals to 2 and y equals to 3, then it will calculate the function um, as 17. And if we put like x equals to 5 and y equals to 8, then it will evaluate 189. So we can have multiple inputs and also we can have multiple outputs. We will see those examples uh, later in this video. So now comes the question, why do we need the functions? Uh, what is the purpose of using a function in the first place? So uh, if we use a function, you can see the, the advantages of using a function is that you can reuse that function in, in the program. So what do we mean by that is, if we, if we define a function and then we call the function inside a code, then we don't have to write those set of instructions every time we need to execute those commands. Meaning, um, let's, uh, for example, let's assume that we need to calculate the, the um, number, like the prime number. Now, if we want to calculate the prime number every time, we need to write those set of instructions. But if we have a function that calculates the prime number for us, then we can just call the function name and that will calculate all those instructions for us. So reusability, and then we can optimize the code, meaning um, we don't have to write everything in the prime or the main script. We can write in different function files and call uh, the function inside the main script so that it will be optimized. And also uh, it's easy to debug uh, or easy to uh, solve any errors because we can then isolate those uh, functions and then uh, try to solve um, those errors. So there's a lot of uh, applications of using a function and it's really important in a programming language environment. So now um, let's see how does a function define um, in MATLAB. So the function is defined in the, as the function command here. And then here, the first is the output, com output variables. So there's this uh, bracket, and then these, there's these only two variables as shown, but we can have one variable, or we can have multiple variables at, uh, as outputs for this function. And here, the function name has to be defined. It can be defined um, anything as long as we uh, call the exact same function name or we can we have to save the function name as it is but we can define the name and here on the uh, inside the parenthesis we can define the inputs so uh, from the previous examples we had um, x for the first um, input 
So we only have x for that program. And for the second example, we had x and y as our input variables. We have to put x and y here to define the inputs. And inside that function, we have to define the sets of instructions involving these inputs and outputs. And then we'll have an end command to end the function. So that is how a function is defined. We will see an example. Um, and um, now we will see there's two ways to define a function in MATLAB. So one way is to define it outside the main script. So the main script is the script where uh, we will work uh, for the program or commands that we need to um, execute the uh, program or the software. Now, outside the script, meaning we will open a script, define a function, save the function in a name, and then we can call that function name inside the main script and so that will know that this is a function and we have to execute that. The other thing is that if we define it this way, we have to make sure the function file has to be saved um, in the same folder or in the current directory that's been defined for the main uh, script. The other way is to define it inside the main script, meaning we don't have to save it in another file. We just have to define the function inside um, or at the end of the main script. And that way we will define the function and it will execute while we call the function name. So um, let's go to MATLAB and see how can we define a function. But uh, here we will use a, a, an example of calculation, calculating a, an area of, or, and a circumference of a circle. So um, we'll use these formulas. So the, for the area, it's pi r squared, and the circumference of a circle is two pi r, and here r is the radius of the circle. So we will use this uh, example uh, in MATLAB and see how can we use the function to execute these commands. So I have opened MATLAB and a new script to define the functions. Now, first, I will show you how to define the function outside of the main script. Then I will show you how to define it inside of the main script. So to define it outside of the main script, we have to open a new script and define this script as the function. So um, to do that, if you if you open a new script and go to say new, the drop down menu, there's a lot of options like script, live script, and on the third option, there's this called function. So if we click on that, it will show us how to define a function here. So as you can see, the function is defined with the function command and the the first variables are the output arguments and then this one is actually the name of the of the function and um, these are inputs and inside there will be some commands and then there will be uh, an end to um, end the function file so we can do it and we can edit these to match whatever we need uh, but I will I will uh, define a new script to uh, write it on my uh, my own function. So I, what I did is that I opened a new script and saved it uh, as the name circle because I will define this function um, in the name of circle. So first I have to type function, and as you can see, it's activated uh, because it's a keyword. Now function. Now we have to we have to tell it um, the outputs and the inputs. Now um, the output, um, there's there are two outputs here. We need to calculate the area and the circumference, but I will write the outputs later. Let's write the function name first. So I have decided to name the function as circle. We can define it anything, um, anything else too, it, um, as long as we are consistent by um, saving the name of the file as the same as the name of the function. So here I have defined circle as a function, parenthesis. Now I have an input of, let's say R should be my input, which is the radius of the circle. Now we have one input and two outputs. Um, the two outputs are area of the circle and circumference of the circle. So I'll define A as my area and C as my circle. And that's it. So we have two outputs and one input. So now inside the function, I have to define what should be the um, calculation or set of execution. So for the area, we showed that the formula is pi r squared. So 
let's write pi times r squared. And for the circumference c, we showed that the formula is 2 pi r. I'll put semicolon to suppress the output, and I'll put an end here. One thing to notice is that r can be a single value, meaning it's it can be a constant, but we can also input a vector or an array for, 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 for an r value. So if r has, let's say, one single value of, let's say, 1, it will calculate these. But what if r has multiple values? Then uh, to calculate these uh, this instruction, we need to add uh, an element-wise operation because r now it can be a vector. So it's safe to add a dot squared to the r because now we can input r as a single variable or it can you can input r as a as an array so um so that's why we did our dot squared okay so this is an element wise operation if we don't know how to do an element wise operation i have another video um, explaining that all right so that is how we defined our function now what we have to do is to open the main script and call this function name circle and input these r value so then it will calculate these a and c which is the area and circumference and then output this a and c to our um, to our variable so let's open another file and define it now i have opened another script and saved it now this will be our main script where we will call the function um, circle and then execute those commands. One more thing I wanted to mention is that the our function file circle has to be saved. So um, you can save it from clicking here, save as, and the name of this uh, file should be exactly the same as the name of the function file. So it should be named as a circle. And another thing is that this uh, function file should be saved exactly in the same folder as the main script. And also this should be a, the working directory so uh, make sure that that is in the same folder otherwise this main file or main script will not call the function all right so first to call this function we need to define the radius of r which is our input um, so let's refine r is the radius i just commented so we know what is r so let's say r has a value of 5 for this case now we will see how to um, call the function name to calculate the area and the circumference. One thing I can uh, do is that let's define area equals to circle. And now inside the bracket uh, parenthesis, I can say R. So what it will do is that it will take this variable and now it will assign this variable to the value of uh, calculation or evaluation of this function circle so it will call circle now whenever it sees the circle it will search for any function file that's been saved as circle so it will go inside and um, in the parenthesis we have defined r for as a value of 5 so it will input r as 5 and then calculate a calculate c and then output a and c so here it will have an output of a and c so um, the thing is here we just have we just defined one variable so it doesn't have uh, two, opportunity to output two variables so if i just run it for now um, you can see this is just a one single variable but we had defined for two outputs so to see two different outputs we can um, define it like um, let's say we define a for the area and c for the circumference and we have to put it in the brackets and now for the circle r variable if, if it calculates a and c it will output a and c here one thing to note is that we can define these variables um, like different than whatever we define here so we don't have to necessarily define the output variables as a and c we can define it as say area and circumference and um, as long as we have two different variables it will show us two different outputs so if we do that and run it now we will have two different outputs so we have area 
with the circle if the radius is 5 it is 78.5 and the circumference is 31.4 now if we change the r value let's say r is 10 and run it and as you can see the values change according to the value of r so this is how we can um, define functions outside of the main script and call those functions um, inside the main scripts. The advantage of this is that we can have this circle function defined in the same folder and we can have multiple programs that can call this circle function and we don't have to uh, save it every time or write the instructions every time. So that saves time and optimized, uh, th that is an optimized way to solve uh, many programs. So now that we know how to define it um, outside of a main script, we'll see how to define it inside of the main script. So let's 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 just define it inside. So what we need to do to define it um, inside of this script. So what I'll do is that I will comment this one out because I don't really need this uh, command. So the function file should be defined at the end of your uh, script. So I'll just write it here function. Now we just have to define this uh, like this sim similarly as we define in the circle file. So let's say a comma c our two um, two outputs equals to now this name of the circle. So let's define it in a different name because we have already used circle. So let's say circle underscore two should be our new function and it will take input as r like before and let's say a is pi r dot squared this is the area of the circle and circumference is 2 pi r and it has to put an end okay so we define the exact same function as we define in the um, outside function but now we don't need to define any outside script as a function we can we have defined it inside the script so now we have defined it, we, we, what we can do is that we can type similar things like let's say a comma c and then let's call this name of the circle because um, so I'll just copy paste it so that has to match exactly as we defined it and now I will put r here and then um, let's run it and see how does it do. Yeah, so now we, we have done the exact same thing, but now we don't really need to save another script. We have defined the function inside the script and we have called the function. So whenever we call it, it went into the function, executed all these um, instructions and outputted these two variables. We can have multiple outputs and also multiple inputs defined. And that is how uh, we can define a function and execute a function command in MATLAB. Uh, hope, hope that, I hope that that's uh, helpful. Um, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Um, see you in the next one.